here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem after to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Effing Lee. One of the most beloved fighters in all of MMA, and yet again, back on the proving ground tonight. Our tail of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bulldog. And now we'll introduce his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Roos, the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our referee for this Red. one. All right, here is Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed in training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Lands a quick jab. A nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in this. Ooh, what a punch. the single leg takedown. Mm, that was nice. Chris, Chris, Chris. Lee getting work from the top here. He's got to do a better job to cover up. This is a terrible position. here making these shots count. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Lee. Side control now. Let's look to get to the mount now. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Get in the mount here. 
All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. There's that sidekick. Effective use of the jab there by Lee. Hands up, hands up. Big power shot there. Oh! Massive kick to the head. I can't believe he's still standing after taking another massive head kick. Beautiful punch lands there. Two minutes to go. Takedown defense holds up. That elbow got to the target very quick. Lee's kick is blocked. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, but unable to find the target. Oh, back and forth we go. Clipped him with the jab. Oh, he's doing a really good job of levitating off of the strike, too. Nicely done. Now he's going full mount. All right, we'll see how he chooses to defend here. And there you go, again, half guard. Under a minute now to go in round one. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or... Flatten them out and just go for the finish. Well, nothing in the unified rules says you can't strike from off of your back, and he did well there. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out, or guys start to attack triangles. Posture's up now. Oh, and delivers. Huge punch to the head there. All right, buddy, take a seat. Deep breath. Slow that heart rate down. Awesome, man. Your striking is looking superb. Everything you're putting out there is landing. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's round go. two is underway. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Sidekick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Chin down, hands up. He's got the single collar tie. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Massive body kick lands. They're so evenly matched, and they're going tit for tat. Nasty high kick. How is he still standing? Oh, he got tagged something fierce there. Great combination. 
All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure, and he has certainly kept up his end of the bargain. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he has done the work in the training room, and it's on full display tonight. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with five. Beautiful transition. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. And he is back up to his feet. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Take your time. Take your time. Lee going for the takedown. He misses. And he comes through with a big knee. Right there, yeah, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punches and punches. Punches and punches. Let's go. Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Under two minutes here to go round two. Straight punch. Nice jab by Lee. Big shot lands for both guys. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Big shot to the head. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Oh, nice jab by Lee. Oh, he's back in the clinch. Look for him to get that right hand visit. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Under a minute to go. Lands the inside leg kick. He's doing work with the jab. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like you can telegraph. Big double leg, double team. Got his guard pass. Might be a submission attempt here, champ. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Lee's back in half guard. Very comfortable here. Working out of the half guard here. Seconds winding down in round two. Position. Good round. Take a seat. Deep breath. Good. Relax. Take a drink of water and listen. We want you to set those kicks up a little bit better. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, how clean is that jab by Lee? Deep now. Back. 
Back to the jab now, no good. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. What a kick. That one landed. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going. Oh, well, the accuracy to land right there. His opponent's wobble champ. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Pretty good position here with the center collar in the clinch. But so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. He gets the single leg takedown. Nicely done there. Pretty productive with the strikes here off his back. To mount. He's got to be careful here. Just over three minutes to go in round three. In the half guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, so some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd, no surprise there. I love it. I love all the Final strike to the body. This could be the end, DC. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his head. He's not moving his head effectively. He's trying to be face first. Look, you don't have to prove how tough you are. You got to move your head. Be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. He gets to the single college. I look for him to keep that elbow tight and throw punches with his free hand. Just misses with a left hook there. Under 90 seconds to go. Nice punch lands over the top. Straight punch lands. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body starting to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Both guys appeared to land there. Under a minute now to go. Nice strike lands. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to... And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Nice left hand. 15 seconds remain in the round. Lee's in half guard now. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. He has been committed to that body work all night. Certainly paid off over those previous five minutes. Yeah, he's investing in the body. He's not taking out withdrawals. He's depositing into body punching 
and now it's showing itself. He's made an investment. Let's see how that investment pays off as we go forward. Always better to be making a deposit than a withdrawal. Oh, yeah, you got to stop taking withdrawals in all situations of your life. Your relationship, your, your, your fighting, everything. Big head to land. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, that body kick couldn't have felt good. Hands up, hands up. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He could find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Hands higher. Hands higher. All right, well. Bad. All right, time to hit the Sunoco station. Both of these fighters are on empty. This looks like when I played video games as a seven-year-old. <laughs> and I didn't know nothing but butt mashing. You two guys have butt mashed to the point that neither one of you can find a knockout. You better hope your parents are walking the room and watch you guys be that fatigued. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Learn to play the game. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Able to check that kick as well. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job. There. The moment he secures that single leg, you can see how comfortable he is and the variety of finishes he has from this position. Oh, good ground and pound here. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. Oh, pinpoint strike lands there, and not going to help the swelling upstairs. I love this accuracy, this ability to get his shots to the target right away. And you see it in the swelling that is forming on his opponent's face. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Right into a big dunk. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Continuing to work out of the half guard. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. for his opponent to stand back up here. Oh. That one appeared to stun him. We're going to be getting to the end here. Big, big strikes continue to land. Handcuffs. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Nice positional control here. Changing the position. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or pick round and round. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. Lee's back in full now. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Uh, 
Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. So here it is, folks, fifth and final round. Oh! oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Throws the teeth. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to... There. Nice eyes on the defensive side. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body. They're really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Lee's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Buffer to wrap it up. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 42 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. And candidly, thus far, few men have succeeded. This just might have been Bruce Lee's best performance inside the octagon.